Here's a general introduction to the Fourier series and what it is and the definition. Uh, I'm not going to go into any example problems, but um, this is this is how things work when you get to the Fourier series. Um, this is a series much like the Taylor series that you covered uh, a long time ago back in calculus. Um, for instance, back in the Taylor series, the function sine of x uh, is actually equal to x minus x to the third over three factorial plus x to the five over five factorial and on and on and on and on. And when we graph this, this, these, this is the sine of x right here. And our first, uh, if we, it, the better the graph looks, it depends on how many of these um, equations we use. So for instance, if we were just to approximate the sine of x using the first series, x looks like that. Okay, so that's okay, but it, it just says what it looks like here at the beginning. If we do uh, the sine of x is approximately equal to x minus x to the third over 3 factorial, it might look something like this. So that's a little bit better but it's still not, you know, going on forever and it doesn't look that good. If we use a third, it could go on like that and uh, it looks better, but it's still not perfect. And that's sort of the same thing with the Fourier series. Um, we're going to be given graphs and we need to describe these graphs with a, a function notation. So for instance, let's say we're given the graph that looks um, something like this where this is one so let's see the graph would look like that then some there then up there and there sort of like a, a sine wave or a square wave here uh, without this piece uh, this piece with this piece missing here so what we can tell about this is it is at one let's divide this up here it is at 1 from uh, 0 to 1, and it's at 0 from 1 to 2. Um, that's pretty, pretty plain to see here. And it repeats after a period. Um, so here's our period is equal to 2 because once it goes 1, 2, it repeats back again. So our period is 2. And now for the Fourier series, we have a variable called L, which is always equal to one half the period. And we'll use that um, in our formulas later on. So in this case, the L would be equal to one. Okay, so let's get on to uh, what you will see with the Fourier series. For a graph like this, you would be given something like y of t is equal to 1 and 0. This, this is coming straight down from from this section right here. Coming straight down. Uh, so it's at 1 from 0 to t1. So when t, which is this section of the graph, the x-axis, is 0 to 1, we're at 1. That's what this is. So you gotta get this notation down. Is 0 when t is at 1 to 2. Okay, so this describes this graph very well. And we, we also know that the period is 2, so if we're given all of this information plus the period, we could recreate this graph very easily. Okay, so you'll be given something like this, and then to find the Fourier series, uh, for this function, uh, there is a giant formula that you have to fill out, which I will now show you. The Fourier uh, series formula looks like this. Y of t is equal to a naught or a0 over 2 plus summation uh, n is equal to 1 infinity, that's just saying it's a series basically, uh, an 
uh, cosine of nt uh, plus b n sine of n t. Okay, so we have this formula that we need to figure out before we can do anything. But we don't know what a naught is, we don't know what a n is, and we don't know what b n is. So we're given three formulas that we have to plug in numbers to find these numbers. a a naught is equal to 1 over L from, uh, let's see, that is negative L to positive L of Y of T DT. So this is 1 over L, an integral from uh, negative L to L times of Y of T DT. Uh, if you remember back when we had that L is equal to 1 half the period this L is where this comes in. So A of N is equal to 1 over L from negative L to L and that's going to be Y of T cosine N T DT and B of N is equal to 1 over L and I grow from negative L to L Y over Y, uh, yt sine nt dt. So basically it's a, a really big plug and chug where we need to find this, 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 and then we get these three variables. We plug these three variables into this giant formula and we get yt. Um, it's the, the final answer looks pretty hairy. You'll end up with a, with a sigma in it. Um, on the bright side, a lot of the times, as you'll see later on, um, some of these can be factored. Um, like for instance, BN, we can look at our, uh, actually erase it, we can look at our original formula and tell that this is going to be equal to zero, or let's say A of N is equal to zero, so it takes out some of these and makes it a little bit easier. Because once, let's say BN becomes zero, uh, this whole section right here becomes zero and you know we're saving ourselves a lot of time um, but this is my general intro to the Fourier series and I'll get to example problems later on